Alright, what do we get in this chest here? We get an extra AR plus one. Now that doesn't sound like much and kind of confusing, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Jump for it. Sweet. And then do we have any new enemies? I think that's it for the enemies. Yeah, it is. I fell? That's not cool. Damn it. I need to fix the camera. There we go. Oh, I see what happened. Damn it. Come on. Up. And then let's go up here, and then things are just starting to fall down. The place is starting to fall apart. That's that's cool. I get it. Oh, Satan did learn Uki Gubo, finally. That was close. Um I might as well. Alright, let's move on. On the third floor now, just pretty much going all the way around. Alright. Like I said, just around, and then we go up the stairs again. This time to the fourth level, and we're out to a uh, I'm not sure what this is. It kind of looks like a crane, but it's hard to tell from this angle. Where'd you go, Doc? Apparently I left the doctor behind. Go up the crane to Welt Hall. You... okay. Yeah, Doc. You better come up. I don't want this to be one of those end-of-game things where it's just like, oh! What the hell? Oh, I can't even fall off anyways. What am I worried about? Uh, and then, uh, oh no. Yeah, so don't worry about it. If you suck just like I do, it's fine. Just make it up to the top of the crane. They can't fall off. And that's awesome climbing on down on the rope, dude. Looks very realistic. Jump for it. I said jump. Here we go again. Yes, we do. Faye and Weltall, best friends forever, or at least for six months. So inside Weltall, he goes. Takazuki looks on. Yeah, get inside. Come on. Where, where is he inside? What, what happened? I'm confused. So, we're inside Welltall now, which, to my knowledge, is still broken, but seems to be working fine. The knee seems to be working very well. And Doc gets out. Why not? Whoops, I accidentally jumped out. Dr. Satan Uzuki, feels like you have sacked your sacules and tickled your utsukurls enough for one lifetime. The hell are you talking about? Oh, so he wasn't in the cockpit. He was in the hand. Okay. Right, it does stuff all by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction hovering kicked in straight away automatically. How do you know the names of that stuff? Faye? What the hell are you talking... Who's talking to me? What the hell are you doing? Dude, it's another gear. A red one! Oh, and it's the hunky pirate. Oh, okay. Oh, battle. I'm like, what? what's going on? This, I thought the game froze on me for a second, but now it's a battle! We're not always soldiers! Right, of course not. Showing a little spine and put up a decent fight! I don't want it! And here we go, up against... Brigandine, if I remember right. You're quite powerful. You, I didn't attack yet. An all environment model? Now I want it even more. So yeah. Let's do booster. 
Wild Smart. What the hell is that? Accuracy and evasion down. Super! And my yeah, camera damage, that's how you know your your accuracy is down. Thank you, game. Yeah, brigandier. Brigandier, sorry. Um Ether Machine special special options? No, of course not. Ether Machine, nah, whatever. I can yeah, there we Ow! Oh, and I missed. Come on, man. At least I get multiple turns because of my booster and I keep freaking missing. This is not gonna be fun if I keep missing so I don't know if that missed or not. Chain whip Dude. Oh snap, you can use stuff here. Okay. Uh we're gonna go for right gucky! So you can use combos in your gear as well as you start with the triangle button. And you get an attack level up. And he's gonna keep using Wild Smile because he's a dick like that. Actually innovation is down. So we got attack level one. So we can do Repu and Raigeki. Let's go for Repu this time. Nice uppercut. Yeah, we'll just go for the regular attacks for now. Uh, don't. We're not gonna waste it when we're when the camera's broken or whatever. Repu, hot doctor, no! Damn you! You, you ruined my Street Fighter reference. I hate you. See, look, look how fast we consume fuel. Oh, and that looks like it's the end of the fight. This is not good, says the pirate. Arg! In the heat of battle, I do, I go get caught in quicksand. Darn me of all people! Yeah, I don't have a good pirate. Sorry. Arg! You are going to get it later. Yes. Way! Why am I going to get it? Because you led me into quicksand, and therefore, you win the fight. Dun da 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 Quicksand won the fight. You want me to leave the gear? You're you're not Nave soldier. I told you that. Don't you listen to my intercom transmission? I remember you were saying something like that. Way to go, young master. My name is Bart. I'm the pirate that works as territory. His name is Bart. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into that Alve transport ship, and was nearly going to be sent to a concentration camp until you went and blew the thing to blazes. There's concentration camps in this game? That's messed up. And yes, we have Bart. Cowabunga. I Karumba. Bart. I've seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. We fell into a weird place. I've never heard of huge stalactite caves such as this existing under the desert before. Yeah, where are you from? The desert only covers around a thousand sharls of the outer layer of the earth. Yes! Oh, now I understand what you're talking about entirely. The stratum underneath it that consists of igneous rock. And now, to, and now a stalactite cave. What's next? A jungle planet. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. The hole we fell through has disappeared. So you want to call a truce for now? Yeah, maybe. Uh, right, until we find an exit, we're together. And we're best friends forever until the end of the cave. Let's get going. I didn't want to dry up and die in the desert. Yes, because that's everybody's life ambition. You sunk our battleship. Just be thankful you were saved. 
Yes, is there anyone who is almost dead, with no arms or legs, or in need of an abdominal operation? <laughs> oh my god. What do you call a man uh, with no arms and no legs lying on the floor? Matt. Man, there's, there's nobody with no arms and no legs? That's depressing. Oh, and there's... Oh. Now we got Satan talking with the other hunky pirate dude. Sigurd. Sigurd. Okay. No one has died this time either. I hear a gear. The collection of the goods and soldiers from the LV transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master general met. Maitreya's platoon will scout around again. General Maitreya. Okay, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Uh, also, excuse myself. And almost destroy this ship trying to do it. He fell into an underground cave with that other guy in the gear. Right. So he'll probably be able to come up somehow. That's good. You seem to trust him a lot. Yes, you do. But I never thought I'd meet you. Hugh? How am I supposed to say it? Hi, you. Hugh. Hugh. Don't call me by that name. It is an inevitable consequence, I assume. What are Huga? Who the hell is Huga? What is going on here? Scene change. You'll never find out. Ah, damn it. So we're inside this cave here. And this is really where the game starts to get on my nerves. So I am going to save. And that is going to do it for these parts. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.